Join Tammy Adams, intuitive life coach and spiritual healer, as she teaches, empowers, and guides you on an intuitive level. She will help you to become open to the often hard-to-face reality of your past karma that is carried into your present-day core problems and blockages. Tammy is here to deliver the messages from our angels. Every show delivers the information that the angels need you to receive. She's here to help you to start learning the truth. Tammy will teach you how you can begin or enhance your spiritual practice. She will lead you in guided meditations, giving you the tools to start understanding your own soul, spirit, and body. What is karma? Is karma real or imagined? Can you clear up bad karma from your past? How? All these questions and more will be addressed by Tammy through her gifted communication with angels and her spiritual skills. Welcome, everyone. It is such a blessing to be here on this wonderful Wednesday. Um, welcome wherever you may be hearing us from. Today is going to be a glorious day because we are going to be talking about how do we receive karma. I'm going to be giving a lot of detail about karma and what it's about and how they're, um, how we create good karma or negative karma. And then also give you guys a little bit of um, information and guidance towards how to heal that and how to get rid of the things that are causing disruption. I know in most shows, you know, I try to stick to just one subject, but this one is talking about good karma and bad karma. So there's gonna be a lot of information in my opinion that's going to be going through. So pay attention if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to ask because it is necessary for you to understand, in my opinion, the information that I will be relaying to all of you. Because if we really truly allow ourselves to get rid of the things that are causing interference in our space, then obviously we're gonna be fulfilled and we're gonna be really happy. And one of my biggest passions, one of my well, my purpose in being here, the reason why I'm on this planet is to help people to understand their purpose and help people to connect to the direction of where they are supposed to be. Whether it's being with your soulmate, whether it's being a healer, being an intuitive, being a mystic, being a medium. Um, truly, you know, whether you're here to do Reiki or whatever it may be, or maybe you're here to be an artist or just a, a mother. You know, some of us don't realize that, I was talking to a client last night, it just reminded me, um, there's someone I know who, she didn't have a job. She, you know, her husband works, he makes good money, so she's able to be a house mom, and she doesn't really need to do very much. So she raises the kids, which is hard enough, I believe me. I know I have four kids of my own. And... She takes care of her kids, you know, taking them to school, helping them, you know, just constantly doing errands that need to be done in regards to keeping the house together. And that's a job in itself. But now her kids are pretty grown up and taking care of themselves. Not 100%, you know, they're not all out of the home, but they go to school on their own. They're handling things on their own. And just recently, she was talking to me about how she found out that her father's sick and he had a stroke. And she was talking to me about this last night. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear, you know, I'm so sorry that, you know, it's so difficult. And she goes, it's just like, it's so difficult. It's such hard work. I don't understand how I, you know, can keep doing this. And she, she didn't seem very appreciative, you know, for being able to have that opportunity. And I explained to her, I said, you know, because her mom works and I said, she goes, and my mom's really worried and my mother has a lot of stress because she has to go to work every day. And I said, well, you know, I, I don't think you're realizing how blessed you are and how much of a gift that God has given you because instead of you needing to have a job to be somewhere 
literally each and every day, maybe not the weekends, but working at least five days a week to bring in a paycheck, you have the opportunity and the blessing and the gift to be able to take care of your father and be able to spend that quality time with him and help him get back to health and truly spend such an amazing amount of special time together. And she was like, I never looked at it like that. I just considered myself as I'm suffering and I'm always the one who's taking care of everyone. I said, well, everyone has a purpose and everyone has a reason why we're here. And she didn't understand what her reason was. And I said, your whole reason is to be a nurturer. Your whole reason is to be a caregiver. And that made her so much more at peace. Just those little words of inspiration and helping her to see that she does have a purpose, even though her purpose is just as a nurturer. All of us have a purpose. All of us have a reason why we're here. But our karma creates a disconnection or it does affect truly affects us from getting on the path of where we're supposed to be. And that's the reason why I have this show. And that's the reason why I'm here doing this show for all of you. So I can educate you, so I can help you, so I can give you this knowledge so that you no longer will be wandering or lost or confused or not understanding. And you will be able to find your purpose, find your path for true happiness, true connection. A couple days ago, I just did one of my um, soulmate, is really fun. It was one of my soulmate series that I'm doing this whole month of February, every Monday. And people were saying how they were so extremely beyond the point of thankful and so happy because they were saying, oh my gosh, you know, there's this one person who gave it to me and she goes, she goes, you know, Tammy, she goes, you were just like this, um, ball of light, you know, she was just really um, appreciative and very pleasing and very nice. To me. She was just so sweet. And she gave me all these wonderful compliments, which I'm very thankful for. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. She goes, you know, most people that try to teach, which is exactly why I'm here is to teach you, really focus on just getting to the point. There's not a lot of emotion and passion behind it. And one thing that I'd love to share with all of you as I'm talking today about your karma is understand without having passion, without having that feeling of why you're doing what you're doing, none of us will have happiness. So the reason why I'm so passionate and the reason why I spend so much time and energy and my focus towards helping people is because I believe that if we all have balance, if we have clarity in our chakras, energy point and levels in our body, clarity and good karma, that we can change the vibration of this planet. And I was explaining that to her and I'm explaining that to you today because I know that we are disconnected, not because we want to be, because many people, when I speak to them, They always express how they want to have a connection. They want to have fulfillment. They want to be on their path. But there has been so many subliminal messages that have guided us in a different direction that we no longer have those morals. We no longer have that that glue to keep us strong and keep keep our core connected and, and straight and powerful as it needs to be. We... We see on news, on newspapers, on commercials, on TV shows, or whatever it may be that's out there constantly giving these messages that it's okay to be bad. It's okay to not have morals. It's okay to constantly have these other um, addictions or pleasures that are in our lives, whether it's being with a married man or cutting someone off on the freeway or flipping somebody off or doing these negative things. There's no reaction. There's no, there's no morals. You know, people are not, you know, getting their, their hands slapped and saying, no, that's not right. My son, no, that's not right. My daughter, you know, and just telling them, no, it's not okay. And 
I don't mean that in a negative way in any way, shape, or form. It's just there's no there's no consequences to if we do something wrong anymore. If we do something that is so unheard of and so not proper, we don't have any type of consequences. So karma goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. I mean, karma goes back to pretty much the beginning of time. And to be honest with you, I did a lot of research on this to be able to speak to you guys about this in regards towards when karma started. And they said karma started way back when, way before Jesus' time, way before Moses' time, thousands and thousands of years. And it is something that has been spoken about, something that has been practiced, something that has been expressed for all these thousands of years. It does come and it does have a very strong connection to the Eastern Indian um, people. So Hinduism, um, that type of, you know, religion and belief. That's where it was really first brought up and practiced and, and brought to a huge amount of attention to the people and to the public. I, I know from me being one of those people who loves to be involved with many um, religions and many belief systems, I'm the type of person that doesn't believe that there's just one right way. So I've spent a lot of time. Oh, we have to go to commercial. I will talk to you in a moment and we'll get back involved. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Home Times. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free. AscendingHearts.com. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners and give a message from spirit about the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, join Carrie each Monday at 3 p.m. on Vibe Nation Radio. Have you ever wondered why you were born? What is the purpose of your existence on this planet? Life can't just be about paying bills and spending eight hours a day at a job that makes you miserable. Haven't you ever wanted your life to have meaning and purpose? Well, intuitive life coach and spiritual healer Tammy Adams can help you. She's been working with people for over 30 years all over the world, helping them to start living their life's purpose. Her exclusive clients have been able to live their dreams, break down the barriers that have been holding them back, and truly have happiness, love, and joy. For the first time ever, she is making her life purpose program available to you. Are you ready to pursue your dreams? Are you ready to have self-love, self-confidence, and self-worth? Are you finally ready to have love, joy, peace, and fulfillment? If you're ready to invest in yourself and commit to making a change in your life, then call Tammy Adams today at 916-930-0781 and ask about her Life Purpose Program. Schedule your discovery session with Tammy to find out if this is the program, to find out if this program is right for you. Stop hesitating to pursue your happiness. You deserve to live a happy and fulfilling life, and Tammy is here to help you get there. So, call today and ask about her Life Purpose Program. That number again is 916-930-0781. God bless. Dear John, I'm leaving. 
Uncontrolled high blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Why can't we get back to when you checked on me? I don't want to leave. But remember, when I quit, you quit. Sincerely, your heart. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range today. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Okay, and we are back. Um, that commercial, I'm not used to the commercial, so I, I got shocked a little bit when it came on, so I apologize. But let's get to the point here. How do we receive bad karma? Karma is energy. And even for those who are scientific atheists and don't believe in religion, like I was talking about before we started the commercials, I've studied many religions, I've studied many belief systems, and karma is talked about in every aspect of every belief system, religion, even to scientists, even to non-believers that don't have a faith. Karma is what they call cause and effect. And if you have negative karma, if you do something wrong, if you do something unkind, then something unkind, something not good will happen. But that energy will come back to you. With every action is a reaction, correct? So people wonder, how do we, how do we get bad karma? How, how am I so blocked when I'm actually a really good person and I have good thoughts and I wish good intentions, whatever it may be. Some of us wonder how did it even begin? And we don't remember and we don't think about our true actions during the day. We don't allow ourselves to truly be aware. There's so many of us on this planet, in this world that truly just work almost like as though we are robots. You know, we get up, we eat, we go to work, we do our work, we come home, we fix dinner, we go to bed and we do it all over again. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, we think we don't have a lot of time, to really truly be aware and be conscious of the things that are happening around us. And when we think and when we have bad reactions and bad actions that we we do, whether it's, like I mentioned earlier in the show, you know, dating someone who's married or um, taking something that doesn't belong to us or um, cutting someone off or giving someone a bad day, whatever it may be, you know, hurting someone, stealing from someone, whatever it may be, if you do those things, there's going to create that that's going to create negative karma in your space, in your energy field. That action creates an energy that then allows itself to stick upon you. And it sticks on you like glue. And you don't get that off unless you become aware and unless you allow yourself to truly heal the bad actions that you've created, that you've done, that you were a part of. One time I was dealing with a client who was just a part of, it was, it was a long time ago, it was a horrible situation. There was a client I was dealing with who had a lot of series of bad, he said he had bad luck. And I don't believe in bad luck and I don't believe in good luck. I believe either you have good karma or bad karma, it's not luck. You know, we don't have luck. It's either karma, good karma, or bad karma. And, yeah, sometimes we say, oh, you have good luck and you have bad luck. It's actually your karma. It's your energy. It's your vibration that we carry and that we have. 
And this person came to me, he goes, oh, I have a series of bad luck, nothing goes right, I have all this, you know, constant trouble, constant disruption that's going on in my life, you know, how do I fix it? So I intuitively sat down with him, did a session for him, and I saw that he was a part of, he didn't have his hand in it, but he was with a friend who shot someone else. And his friend was a really bad guy. And and I I really don't know how he was so associated with him because this client was really sweet and really had a a beautiful heart. So he was trying to change his friend. He was like, well, I'm going to stick behind him because no matter what, I'm going to show him that there's a kind person out there. So he kept sticking with his friend. They went to a big party and he didn't expect him to do something negative that night. But the friend that he was with shot somebody else because they got into an argument and the friend had a gun and all this stuff. It was horrible. And my client wasn't a part of anything to do with the shooting, but he then took the friend and ran off and hit him. So I saw that intuitively and I told him, I said, well, I see that you were a part of, you know, this action and da, 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 da. And he goes, oh my gosh, I can't believe how spot on you are. That's crazy. That's amazing. Um, but, you know, how do, I didn't shoot him. So how do I have anything to do with it? And I said, you took the person who created the crime and literally, you know, took him from the scene until you allow yourself to truly ask for forgiveness and confess and do something to create healing of this situation, your bad luck, as you say, will continue to come forward and continue to be very negative. You have to cleanse and heal your karma from this action that was done. You can't just wish it away. You know, we can sit there all day and say, I wish that I'm the most healthy person in the world. I wish that I'm the most successful person. I wish I'm the most recognized. I wish I'm the most holy. We can wish all day long, but unless we apply ourselves, unless we actually energetically do something to transform our energy, we will not be able to make a difference. So how do we get karmic energy? Is by the actions that we do. So being aware of our actions, being aware of what we are doing, is something that is very necessary. It's simple. What we do comes back to us. And when we allow ourselves to realize that and really be conscious of that, you will not be able to, well, when you become conscious and when you allow yourself to really live by that law or those beliefs, your life will be transformed in the most amazing, spectacular way. Now, this is a good question for many of you out there. Do you feel as though your karma is good or bad? Or do you feel like you are blocked? Now, when you feel like you're blocked, it could be, and I talk about this quite often because this is very important, is it could be maybe your throat chakra is blocked and you feel like something's stopping you from expressing yourself. Or it could be your heart chakra that's blocked and it could be that you're afraid to feel and trust and and let your heart be free again or maybe your your stomach you know energy is blocked or your tailbone area is blocked it many of us have certain special locations that have these very strong signs and very clear messages that our guardian angels and our spirit guides show us and they say You're blocked here because you have a really bad sore throat that always stays with you and you always have issues with your voice or you always have issues with your intestines or you always have back problems. Those are signs that our guardian angels and our spirit guides are showing us and our body and our soul is showing us and our spirit. Hello, you're blocked. You have negative energy that's causing you some type of issue that's not allowing you to have this wonderful, clear open, awesome, wonderful energy. If you feel like you're blocked and you do realize that something is causing disruption and complications in your energy field, what are you doing? Are you doing anything to create healing? And we'll talk about that more later on in the show. But are you seeing the signs that are telling you you're blocked? 
like some people they have complications where they always have headaches or they have issues with their sinuses or something in regards towards their third eye, the energy that's up in their head. That's a very clear sign that your crown or your third eye is blocked. Now that can become blocked because of your karma. That's why I'm explaining about these blockages. Because if your karma, if the actions that you have made were negative, if you have done things that were unkind, greedy, selfish, um, ruthless, whatever it may be, and I know many people who have done this. I talked to a client a couple of days ago who admitted to me that her, this boyfriend that she was with, lied to her. So, I mean, he made up these stories that I don't even understand how he could have allowed himself to even create these stories and tell someone, look, this is how much tragic I've been through. This is how much tragic I've been to. Don't you want to love me? Don't you want to be with me forever and ever? And she fell for it because she was like, no one would make up a story like that. And she was with him. I have this other client who, you know, he just, he believed that being this dominant person and making his wife so submissive and so absolutely um, ashamed of herself will keep her as a perfect servant and submissive wife, along with abusing and, you know, manipulating his children to keep them submissive as well. And the part that's sad is this person is someone that is very recognized in the world and everyone thinks he's a great guy when in reality he's a not very good guy and he's very evil in many ways because of his actions and the abuse that he's done so we're going to talk about next how to create the healing talk to you soon Conscious Connection, Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Humanity Healing International is a small nonprofit with a big dream. Since 2007, HHI has been working tirelessly to bring help to communities with little or no hope. Our projects are not broad mandates, nor are they overnight solutions, but they bring the reassurance that no one is alone and that someone cares. To learn more, please visit humanityhealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance, Mondays at 9pm Eastern Time. Are you in search of love? Now, when you hear the word love, do you think of a true, meaningful, instant connection with someone that makes you feel as though you've known them your whole life? The kind of connection that has a magnetic energy and a seamless fit to your thoughts and desires. The kind that cannot be anything other than your soulmate. If this is the kind of love that you've been searching for and think it'll never happen for you, stop. Your soulmate exists and Tammy Adams can help you find them. Tammy Adams has been an intuitive life coach and spiritual healer for over 30 years. She's here to help you connect to your soulmate. If you think your soulmates don't exist, please do not be mistaken. Tammy is here to tell you that every single soul that has been created has a soulmate. Through her intuitive abilities, over the years, she has connected countless clients with their soulmates. For the first time ever, Tammy is making her soulmate program available to you. If you're tired of the heartache, if you're tired of searching, if you're tired of being lonely and constantly having this longing for that one person, 
then please call Tammy today and ask about her soulmate program. The number is 916-930-0781. Schedule your discovery session with Tammy to find out if this program is right for you. This program is exclusive to those who are ready to finally invest in themselves so that they can have a fulfilled life. In this moment, you have the opportunity to finally have love, passion, and joy. Don't hesitate in pursuing your happiness. So call today. That number again is 916-930-0781. God bless. Hi, I'm Jimmy Buffett. Save the Manatee Club has helped to protect imperiled manatees and their aquatic habitat for decades. But there's still more work to be done. Threats from cold weather, red tides, pollution, and boat collisions continue to take their toll on the manatee. So let's work together to safeguard the manatees and the places they call home. Be the friend they need. Visit SaveTheManatee.org. Thank you. Okay, so we're back. It's a, okay, we're back. So um, like I was saying before the commercial, are you seeing the signs that are telling you you are blocked? Okay, are you feeling as though you're blessed and things come to you easy? These signs can change as we change. And that's what I wanna talk about. I want to help you to change the karma so that you can allow yourself to change the vibration and start receiving blessings in your life. What energy, what vibrations are you feeling? First things first, how do we start changing our karma? If you're feeling as though you're blessed and things come to you easy, then God bless you. Everything's going wonderful. Everything's going amazing. Everything is awesome and high five to you. That's great. That means your karma is good. That means things are going wonderful. That means doors are opening. Your, Your energy and your vibration is doing great. And your karma is clean. If you feel as though things don't come too easy and you're always struggling that things not so good are happening to you. Bad relationships, negative things at work, um, just negative situations coming forward. There is negative karma that is creating those negative things that are happening. But these signs, these things can change. We can heal and change our karma. One thing I want to mention that I um, haven't mentioned yet is maybe it's past life karma. Maybe this karma that is hanging on to us, that's so negative, that's so heavy, maybe it's something that's connected from our past life. Maybe it's something that we felt and something we were associated with from our past life. And I haven't mentioned that. And we'll talk about that more in a future show. But that's something that's really important for people to understand. Maybe it's not because of the actions of this lifetime. Maybe it's the actions from two lifetimes ago or last life, you know. And I'll be able to help you with that. We'll be able to see if that's your situation that you're dealing with. And we'll talk about that in a future show. But what we're dealing with today is the karma that is from this lifetime, the karma that you're dealing with now. And if you feel as though you have negative karma and things are creating a negative energy in your life, let's focus on changing that. Let's focus on getting rid of the negativity. First things first is you have to be aware, like I mentioned earlier. You need to know, okay, how did this karma start? What did I do? How can I forgive it? How can I let it go? What are the things that you need to set up and do to correct your negative karma? What actions have you done 
you've created, you were a part of, that have been negative things that you've done. How can you make things right? Number one, we need to be able to allow ourselves to really truly focus on forgiving those who have hurt us. Number two, we need to focus on truly healing and letting go of the negative actions that we have done. And forgiving ourselves, you know, forgiving ourselves for the actions and the negative things that we've done. We can't forgive the person that we cut off. We can't forgive, you know, certain things that we've done to the person we've done this to. But we can forgive ourselves and we can forgive the energy of what we've done the memory of what we've done and change that energy into a positive. That's what I'm talking about with certain situations. Maybe someone abused you or manipulated you or hurt you. Let's change that vibration. How you change your karma is by going back in time through your memory and certain events that you've been through and literally Forgiving those moments. Forgiving those actions. Whether you were the one who've done it or whether someone who has done that to you. Forgive that energy. Forgive that situation. No longer carry it because the only person who is going to continue being hurt is you. And that's something that we don't want. We don't want you to continue paying the price. situations in your life. We want you to continue being positive and having wonderful and amazing time on this earth. Living life to the fullest, being happy, connecting with your soulmate, having the most amazing experience that a person can have. And when we have negative karma and we have blockages, we don't feel fulfilled. We don't feel complete. We don't feel free. What are you doing to heal your karma? Can we change our karma? Yes, we can change our karma, but what are you doing to heal it? Focus on meditation. I cannot preach that enough. I cannot say that enough. I cannot express that enough. However you want me to say it, I'm saying it. Here it is. Meditation is key, in my opinion, to almost anything on this planet. Meditation helps us to truly going through such an amazing, absolutely wonderful healing. That is one of my go-to places when I, I talk to any of my clients or any person that I'm close to or I, oh my gosh, the best thing that will help you is do meditation. Just the meditation is spending however much time you can towards really truly meditating and finding your center, finding your peace inside of you. Really letting yourself to just be in this, this moment of peace and tranquility. And inhaling all the positive and then exhaling all the negative. When we meditate, we truly go through a transformation. And that short moment, we actually receive healing. We receive transformation. But we are too busy, we think, to spend that 20 minutes or an hour meditating. So really Start putting it in your schedule if you have to. 20 minutes in the morning before I wake up out of bed. 20 minutes at night before I go to sleep. You know, whatever time you have to dedicate towards that meditation, I advise you to spend that time. If you don't know how to meditate and quiet your mind, I'm telling you, practice makes perfect. I know it's not going to happen in one moment. You have to keep trying it. Just like when we work out. The first time we work out, obviously you're not going to gain muscle. You have to keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. It's the same thing with meditation. It's, you know, try again, try again, try again. And eventually, you'll get it. 
So can we change our karma? Absolutely. 100%. We can change our karma. It is up to you to change your karma. It is up to you to admit to yourself what has happened. It is up to you to remember the experiences and the things that have created the blockages within you, the pain, the sadness, the disappointment, the loss, the lack of trust. Only you know the truth. We'll continue this after commercial. your soul with waves of consciousness on ohm times radio host your show on iom fm the radio network of ohm times media one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of ohm times hosting a show on iom fm immediately connects you with our extensive dedicated community looking for inspiration Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, the inspired, inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. Look at this little face. I mean, you know, I love him. Hamilton the Pug, Instagram star and shelter pet. Amazing adoption stories start in shelters. Visit the shelterpetproject.org to find a pet near you. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States and the Ad Council. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so karma. Back to what we need to do to create healing and to unblock our karma so that we can allow ourselves to be the best we can be, the most fulfilled as we can be, and walk our walk and talk our talk and truly fulfilling our purpose. One thing I always talk about is if you want to know how can you have good karma, what can you do to create good karma? Here's a couple very valuable and wonderful, you know, ways that you can have this accomplished. And it's been talked about for thousands of years as well. Treat people as you want to be treated. If you want good karma, Treat people as you want to be treated. You know, I spend a lot of time, I'm in Northern California, and I spend a lot of time going to the Bay Area. So I'm always crossing the bridge, you know, always crossing the bridge. And I have a fast track, fast track thingy. But sometimes, um, I know this sounds silly, but sometimes I'll go through the line that gets stuck um, where you do the pay line. And I just sit there and I say, oh, thank you, have a great day. And I, you know, of course, have the fast track, so I don't have to worry about the um, fee. And I'll just say, oh, I have the fast track. Okay, thank you, have a blessed day. And when you say that to someone, or even at the in the grocery line or at the coffee store, wherever you go, if you just sit there and say, oh, have a blessed day, do you know how much they value that and how much that just – creates this amazing, wonderful happiness in that person's heart, it really, really does make a difference. Very rarely, but sometimes a client will come and bring me flowers for no reason. 
And I cannot tell you how much that makes my heart beyond extremely happy. And they do it just for no reason. And they'll just say, you know, oh, I decided to buy these five. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And it's not that, you know, it was something that is like, oh, my God, you know, just like it was the most amazing fly I've ever saw. It was the thought that someone thought of me and brought me one flower or flower, lots of flowers, whatever it was, that appreciation or if someone just says, you're amazing. You know, you tell your son, you tell your, your partner, you're amazing. I just want you to know you're amazing. Treat people as you want to be treated. And when you share that love, there's no words with what will be given back. It will be amazing. Amazing. Love people as you want to be loved. So when you love someone, love them as you want to be loved. Do not let yourself be afraid to love fully. Do not be in fear of being taken advantage of or being um, lost or whatever it may be that your fear is that you're carrying. Love people as you want to be loved. Love your partner completely. Love your coworkers completely. Love your children completely. Don't hold back. Love your family. Love whoever is around you as you want to be loved. Because that vibration and that karma will then come back to you. It will be amazing, the rewards. They will start pouring in and you, you won't have enough time to, to count how many blessings. You'll just be like, oh my gosh, I lost track of how many blessings I just received today. It's amazing. It's amazing. Give to people like you would love for people to give to you. So whether, like I said, how people, you know, sometimes clients will give me a flower or one time I went through a Starbucks line and I was getting my chi, uh, Thai Chi Latte. It was so funny. And of course I was with my children. So there was, you know, God knows it's a $20 bill, probably $25 bill. And I come to pay the thing And the lady, the, t the teller where she, I was paying her, and I'm, here's my credit card. And she goes, oh, no. The person before you paid for yours. Still talking about it. It brings me to tears. It's so sweet. Give to people like you would love for people to give to you. Let us begin to heal. Let us start to change our karma today. Let us transform ourselves. It makes me so happy being able to share this message with you. I cannot tell you how happy I am to share this message. And it's such a wonderful, amazing, spectacular day. So let us begin to heal and let us start changing our karma. Meditation is a great way to heal. I mentioned that earlier. Meditation is an amazing, spectacular way to heal ourselves. But also, good acts are a great way to heal and to create good karma. Selfless, just for no reason, absolutely giving ourselves to people, creating good acts, being an angel for someone else, you know, going and dropping off, um, like the person who did for my, you know, tea and, and for the kids' things that they ordered. I mean, I love doing things like that. That makes me so happy. And then that 
reward will come back to you. And you'll start seeing all these good actions and all these blessings that pour into your life. It is such a wonderful, wonderful thing. Welcome. Oh, this is so huge. Welcome self-love and welcome self-worth. Remember, everyone who is listening, without self-love, without self-worth, we cannot expect someone to love us fully or to see our worth and our value. Without self-love, how can someone love you completely? Please, look at yourself in the mirror. Don't hide. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, look at how amazing you are. Look at how you are a gift. Look at how beautiful you are and how you are different than everyone else. And even though you're one person in this world with billions of people in it, you are here to make some sort of a change. You are here and you are special. Every single one of us are special. Every single one of us. And so many of us don't realize that. I hear people tell me, Oh, I'm just bad luck. Oh, I just, I'm cursed. Oh, I have negative. I promise you, you're not cursed. You're not bad luck. You're not negative. You may have blockages. You may have some negative karma you're dealing with, but I promise you, you can change that. Anyone can be changed. Anyone can transform. Every single one of us are here to have happiness and harmony and blessings in our lives. Also, I, if, you, if you have more questions, I have a lot of free things that I offer to people because I feel like we're here to give. And I do have blogs and all sorts of other things that can be um, looked up and connected and given to all of you. Uh, if you guys are interested, go to my website, go to www dot ask Tammy Adams dot com. So it's ask Tammy Adams dot com. And you guys go to my website and you guys can connect to my newsletter. You can connect to my free social media sites, which is the um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my blogs. I have just so much information. And I just recently discovered this new thing on Instagram. <laughs> It's like live Instagram. It's really cool, actually. So connect with me at AskTammyAdams.com, and hopefully you'll be able to even get more information. And next week's show is going to be really exciting, and I'd like to mention that for one moment so we can talk about what is going to, to prepare you for next week. Can your karma be stopping you from connecting with your soulmate? So next week we're talking about can your karma be stopping you from connecting with your soulmate? So for all of you who are trying to connect with your soulmate and trying to figure out, where's my soulmate? Hmm, scratching your head, trying to figure out, why am I working so hard, but I'm not finding them? That's what we're talking about next week. That is going to be a show that is going to be amazing. Today was about how to receive bad karma. Or do we, how do we receive bad karma, and can we change it? answer to that is, of course we can change it. Absolutely, we can change it. All we need to do is change the vibration. Go through healing, getting rid of the negativity, the blockages. Do good acts. Be kind-hearted. Treat people like you want to be treated. Give to someone a blessing. You know, so many things that we do can change. To all of you, have an amazing rest of your week. God bless. I'm Tammy Ann.